All right, put my 76 back together. And uh, one of the things I'll show you that's a little handy is how to line up your intake for your carburetor. If you can see right there, it it's not it'll roll out like this. I won't touch the other one. There's a big gap over here. You can see that. But if, and if I put it on this one real nice, it, it you, there's a gap gap right there. But what I do is I take them, I leave the head bolts loose. Now I'm just going to run this around, turn it with my hand. Both of them are loose. I'm just going to put it together until I get the the best possible meeting here. And I think we're going to have to move it again. Maybe move this one out just a touch. Now, this is how I'm going to get it close. And then I'm going to torque down. Well, not torque it down, but I'll tighten it up. And I'm getting close. And when I get close, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten down my four head bolts on each head. And the back one here, I, to make it look easier on myself, I set this motor. I put the lower end in first. Then I set this cylinder. Then this cylinder. Then I took this head and I attached the valve cover to it, as you can see. Because to try to work that in there, when it's all apart, number one, you can't get the, the, the screw here or a bolt here, and then the other one's hard in the back also. But anyway, you just put this on, run the bolts in real loose, and then you can put your head on. And it also helps this back bolt if you put this back bolt in, head bolt. And over here, you can just run these in. And on these, I have the 12 point head bolts and what I'll do is I'll, tw I'll turn these down I'll check it again okay and I I turned in the head bolts a little bit they're not torqued yet they're just light but then you want to hold this in there and the more time you take straightening this up the easier and less chance you're going to have that you're going to have some intake leaks okay you want that looking pretty much how that is nice even space it's not going to be perfect but the closest you can get it to perfect the more time you spend on it the better it is and you just got to turn you, you can turn your head one way and turn your other your other way but when you get it nice and close that's when you're going to want to do your first torque on your head bolts and that'll when you go to put this on this will line up real nice as long as you go to that that idea right there I'll get that that's going in nice and I think I'll give her a little tap just dropped it that's nice but pull that around and I put her in there again take a look at her that in there and when you get it how you want it with no gaps well you're gonna have a gap but you're not gonna have uneven gaps because you want it nice and even that way your o-rings will go right in there the o-rings go in those spaces right there you can see and then your clamp goes over top of that if you've never done one of these before but uh I'm pretty satisfied with that I think I'm gonna torque my head bolts down Per the manual. Remember, always use the manual. And I think that's going to be pretty good. Alright, this is my 76. 
I'll show you what it's looking like after I got it. You're looking at it, I painted the frame, rebuilt the brakes a little bit, and cleaned it up. The kid I got this from just let this bike go to hell. It was a shame. Gonna try to wake her up nice. I haven't had this one running yet. It's the one, if you're looking at my videos, you see I'm doing the valves and a little bit of honing. But, should be running.